everybody today outdoor PE again. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful day outside. Very similar or very similar uh, kind of concept when it comes to um, you know, going away from our house um, and then coming back and just do some some body weight type exercises and, and then leaving your house again. So um, today kind of got a wide shot here, so this is hopefully seeable. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to condense things to do just just one round. So just we're just going to do these five things just once, um, and it starts with a it starts with a run walk and finishes with a run walk. Um, the first run walk is going to be five minutes in length, and it's more of a warm up. So this is more of you know I've been you know in first through fifth period, you know I haven't been moving around a lot, so I'm just trying to get uh, up out. Keep my body just moving just a little bit. Okay, so so probably more of a of a walk than a run. This is just kind of get ready to roll. Get ready to go. Uh, but this is just kind of gets the blood flow uh, gradually kind of build up a little bit throughout our five minutes. So it's just again, it's just try to just try to warm up our body. So we want to come away from our house for two and a half, and then thus come back from our house for two and a half for a total of five minutes on that. The second thing that we're going to do is something for our core, uh, something very uh, can be challenging, uh, but it's, a, it's just a, not too many of them. But it's called the dynamic side plank. And I'm going to come over here to this rubber rise mat so you can kind of see it from afar. But a side plank is when you hold it uh, in plank position, not a four point, but you, obviously you hold it on the side. Okay? The word dynamic comes in, in which now all we do is we come down, tap our hip to the ground, and then let's come back up. So we would do that eight times on each side. So eight times with our right side, and then eight times to our left side. This is something that we have done before, and we haven't done it in a little over two weeks. Our third thing that we're going to do is just old school push-ups. So we're going to do 30 of them, or three sets of 10. Our fourth thing we're going to do is now we're going to stretch our legs, make them longer, but it's just going to be with our body weight. So we're going to do body weight lunges. And we're going to do three sets of 10 total, so thus five per leg. So our body weight lunges, our hands will go on our hips, okay? Our hands will go behind our head, uh, but we want to keep upright. Uh, and so we just take big steps down and big steps back. It might take two steps to get back to the finish line. That's okay. Rather than just one big step and one big step back, you might have to take two steps back to the finish line. That's fine. Uh, but again, just kind of get our, our lower body nice and long. And then after that, we continue to go outside to take advantage of the weather and the sunshine and go for another five minute run slash walk. But after doing one through four, our body is, is should be all ready to go and kind of got the, I guess the, they're all loosened up and ready to roll. So I would suggest, that's why it's underlined, a little bit more run. Try to do the entire five with a slight jog or run uh, than more walking. Okay, so this is our outdoor PE activity. It's again designed to be uh, individual, uh, not the use of equipment. Um, wherever you're at right now, but that would be uh, a great outdoor workout that would take you about just 30 minutes. It's very basic.